Right, settle down, settle down. Can I have some shush, please? Thank you. Grubber. Right, I'd just like to start off by thanking you all for being here. I know that a lot of you have travelled many leagues to be here, but it really was preferable to be coming along and picking you all up individually. Would have been a nightmare. Now, let's get the formalities over and done with. Hello, my name is Noah, and this is my wife, Noah's wife. She hasn't got a name, obviously, she's just a woman. I know what you're thinking, I don't know why I'm married her either. Honestly, one boozy night in Mesopotamia and then she's up the duff. Ooh, charming. Oi, who said you could chime in? It was you lot who got us into this mess in the first place. If it wasn't for you lot, we'd still be in the Garden of Eden, mooching about with no pants on. Honestly, you with your apples and serpents malarkey. So less of this, all right? Honestly. Look, why don't you just go down below and put the kettle on, all right? Do something useful. Put the kettle on? Yes. Drink the water from the well, get the firewood, start a fire going, take all the images. Bloody hell. Look, right, okay, let's just skip all that. Now I know that a lot of you understand this is going to be a massive undertaking. So I'm going to need all of you to pull... I'm, I'm going to need all of you to pull your weight, okay? So you've all got to sort of team up and sort of... Do, do you mind? I'm, Sort of in the middle of something here. May I have a quick word with you, please, Noah? I'm a bit pressed for time, mate. Oh, yes. Look, what are you supposed to be, anyway? I am Zebra. You're not a very convincing Zebra, are you? Yeah, well, the sketch has got a very small budget. True, I can't argue with that. Look, what did you want, anyway? Well, um, Bernard. What? My name is Bernard. Congratulations. My wife, she always tell me, you look like a Bernard, she said. That's, That's my wife Brenda up there. She at the back between the pelican and the weasel. Oh. Say hello, Brenda. <laughs> yes, enchanté, Brenda. Yes, charm, love, because I hope I've got a lot to be getting with. Well, you see, the thing is, no, what the thing is, uh, the, the, the thing is that um, some of the animals, they've asked me to, to come down here and to talk to you on their behalf. Okay. As a kind of uh, spokesperson or a representative, if you will, for a few of their quibbles. Oh, I see. I get it. You've got yourselves a little union, haven't you? Look, if you think that I'm going to let you have designated holidays and extra fact breaks, look, you've got another thing coming. No, 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 well, the first thing on my list is, um, how big is the ark? It's 300 cubits long, 50 wide and 30 high. Oh, that is an impressive, 50, an impressive sizable vessel you have there, Noah. Thank you, I built it myself, 482 years old I am, bloody knackered, can't feel my arms. Yes. Look, if you will, for me, Noah. A vast, unbroken ocean of animals stretching as far as the eye can see. Yes. You think we're gonna fit in that? Oh, ye of little faith, Bernard. If God says you will fit, you will fit. Oh, God says. So that's me told then. Yes. There I was worrying about it. God says. Right. Well, the second thing on the list. Yes. What are the toilet arrangements? Yes, well, um, I was sort of hoping that most of you could go over the sides, if you oh. could. And for the hundreds of thousands of animal species that are not uh, big enough to crap over the side of the boat? Uh, ah, yes, well, uh, we do have two dung beetles aboard, yes? Oh, yes, no. But even working at full steam, them little blighters, they're going to be pretty stretched, ain't they? Yes, uh... Oh, how about we draw up a mucking out rotor, okay? We'll have space here. Mucking out rotor, yeah, yeah no! Yeah, yeah we got with that one, Noah. We are, we are with that one. So the next thing on the list, oh, yes. this one is more of a personal thing for myself and my wife Brenda. Right. Will there be any lion on board? Oh, for crying out loud. Of course there are going to be lions. There's two of everything, Bernard, and that includes lions. Yes, oh. two, in fact. Well, you see, we are not really happy about that. We do not like the lions. We do not get on with the lions. Look, so I've got enough of my clothes. I've sorted out your petty squabbles. Just, just 
stay at opposite ends of the arc. But they do not like us! Well, I can't blame them. I've only known you five minutes and already get on my tits. Jesus Christ, they're coming, and that's it. Well, okay, but only if you will give me your personal guarantee that uh, the lion cabin will be far away from our cabin. Your cabin? Preferably, it will be on another deck entirely. Oh, yes, well, I'll sort that out for you, Bernard. I'll put you in between the bingo hall and the all-day buffet. Oh, 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 Brenda, did you hear? You're going to put us between the bingo hall and the all-day buffet. But crying out loud, the Bernard, the there is no fucking cabin. This is the ark, mate. Time is of the essence. I'm sorry I haven't supplied you all with minibars and Corby trouser presses. This is all I've got, okay? Well, when you put it that way, no, it does seem a bit churlish um, of me. Yes. Look, look, don't worry about the lions. I'll sit next to the dinosaurs. They'll keep them out of trouble, okay? Is that okay? The dinosaur? Yes, Bernard, two of everything. Oh, well, well, in that case, I can confidently say there won't be any problem with the room on the boat. Because in two days' time, the only thing going to be moving on that boat is going to be one huge T-Rex. It's grossly overweight and with violent indigestion, you book. Come on, guys, we're not getting on this no. boat. Back away from no. the boat. We get the no. next no. boat. No. Move away. I'll tell God that the T-Rex is not away from the boat. Please, Bernard, I'll give you your own cabin. I'll even throw in a Corby trouser press. Bernard! Please! Oh, for crying out loud. I hope you're happy. Now the entire animal kingdom thinks I'm a massive ass. Thanks to you. Hmm, what's that? Oh, yes, you've shut up now, haven't you? You have been going on all week now, haven't you? But now, no. If you don't mind, I'm going to go below deck, have a cup of tea, and then beat my wife. And you better not even think about talking to me. Honestly.